In this video, I will show you how to register a cat from a breeder slip. I will start with the instructions for the instance when you are the breeder, you registered a litter, but at the time that you registered the litter, you didn't know you were gonna keep the kitten and you would now like to register the kitten. So from the main page, you can go through a couple of places, but I'm gonna go down from cats and litter to my litters. And in my test account, I just have one, but you would pick the appropriate litter click on the litter. And then you can see here in the test, I registered one at the time that I registered the, the litter. Depending on the situation, a new owner may have registered as well, another kitten. I have this third one, this red classic tabby female. This will be the one that I'm going to register. So I wanna click on the number there. It brings up this information with this unusual code has the information here though, the basics, and I wanna click on generate breeder slip. As it says, it will take a few minutes, but I will get a notification and my little bell will turn on when it is ready. You'll also receive an email, depending on your settings, if you've turned that on. And just like that, it's already ready for me. I can click on the breeder slip. The breeder slip does look a little different in the TFMS system as it did before but it still has the same information that we're going to need. So I'm going to download this so I have it readily available when I go back to register. So I'm going to download the file and then I'm gonna go back and now I wanna register that kitten. And so from cats and litters, I clicked register a cat or you could go back to the home page and click register a cat, it takes you to the same place. I wanna register a cat using a breeder slip. And this is where it's going to prompt me for that information from the breeder slip. So I need the breeder slip number, which is this number right here. I'm going to copy and paste. And the litter number is right here. Enter that and click next. And again, here's the information on the litter pulls over the sire, the dam, all the information that either you input as the breeder when you register the litter or the breeder that you obtained the cat from. You click next. Say I wanna change the cat to spay. You can change the eye color. If you have a microchip, you can enter it. It's not required. What date did you buy this kitten? The breed, the hair type, and the prefix are set by Tika, by the system, in fact, when the breeder registers the litter. If any of these need to change, you would need to submit a work request, a case, as we call it in TFMS, and then click next when you have everything set up. I am the only owner, so I would select myself. If you want to add an additional owner, you can, but you need to know that person's last name and their Tika client ID. Now, I don't need to do that here in this instance. Oops, I'm going to start again because I went back too far. And just for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna leave it as is. It goes quicker here. Myself, as the owner, it'll show you how the owner name will appear on the certificate. Again, create a case if you need to change that later. And then click next. Give it a name. If you own other catteries, you can select those from the drop down if you choose to. And then click verify availability of name. This is not allowed, it's more than the required 35 characters. So I will have to make some modifications, either remove the suffix because the prefix and the suffix are included, remove spaces, shorten it. Let's try this. Uh, this still has too many. So I'm going to just remove that. And in fact, I can use the original name I wanted. Let's try that. I can't have the owner within this. So let's give it just a whole new, whole new name. And now we're available. 
Test Cattery 21, that's my fake Cattery name, and My Kitty Cat will be the cat's name. Click Next. And at this point, you can continue doing other services within the TFMS system, or you can go directly to your shopping cart and pay for it. We'll do that and we'll go through the payment system. So you can see how quickly this then populates into, populates into the system. I'm gonna put in my fake card, click Submit. And then like usual, you'll receive a notification through your notifications up here or an email notification and or an email notification if you have set that up when it is ready. So let's go to the home page, And when that cat is ready, it will appear on my cats and it's right there. It's as quick as that.